1779, the British changed their focus and decided that the only way to win the war was to, to fight the colonies and subdue the colonies in the South. To that end, uh, Henry Clinton and later uh, General Cornwallis came south, took Savannah, and invested and captured Charleston, which was at that time one of the richest cities in the New World. Charleston falls in May of 1780. Along with Cornwallis's troops is, is a young lieutenant colonel by the name of Bannister Charlton. He's in his mid-twenties. He's already made a name for himself up north by hard charging and fast riding. Once he's in the south after the fall of Charleston, uh, Cornwallis sends him out into the countryside to uh, attack and subdue any patriot forces. At the Battle of Waxhalls, Tarleton finds Virginia reinforcements who are coming up under the command of Abraham Buford. He attacks them as soon as he sees them, charging into them, and there's a, a brisk fight that ensues. The Virginians are caught unawares and start to surrender. In the midst of the surrender, Tarleton's horse is shot out from under him, and when he goes down, his men think the surrender has been violated, and they commence to cut down the Virginians under Buford. This became known as Buford's Massacre, or infamously just the Waxhalls. This helped bolster Tarleton's reputation in the Southern Theater as uh, bloodthirsty and cutthroat, and he was hated and reviled by many. It's this same Bannister Tarleton which Lord Cornwallis sends to try to subdue um, General Daniel Morgan's forces on the western flank of Nathaniel Green's army in January of 1781. Tarleton has with him about 250 green-coated British Legion horse and about 50 17th Light Dragoon horse. He also has the Light Companies, about 650 men uh, of various British regiments with him as he pursues Daniel Morgan. Now the British Legion itself was American. They were raised in Philadelphia, in New Jersey, in New York. They wore green coats to signify that they were provincial troops. They were not from England necessarily. They're mostly Americans. They're also not professional soldiers. They're somewhat undisciplined. Um, but nevertheless, they form the backbone of Tarleton's force here as he approaches the cow pens. Daniel Morgan prepared for Tarleton. He had studied the way he attacked, and true to form, when Tarleton gained the field here, his immediate response was to charge into what he thought was a large force of militia. On this field, in January 17 of 1781, that ended poorly for Tarleton.